One man died there at Bitter Creek. And they say he ran away. Brandon, mark for the coward shame. What do you do when you're branded? Well, you fight for your name. He was innocent. Not a charge was true. But the world would never know. Brandon scorned as the one who ran. What do you do when you're branded? And you know you're a man. Wherever you go for the rest of your life, you must prove you're a man. Why let everybody else get rich on your name? All you have to do is sign a simple contract with me. We'll go east and we'll do a land office business. New York, Philadelphia, Boston. They've been standing on top of each other just to see the great McCord. You think if you're willing to pay enough, you can buy anything, don't you? I always have. Sooner or later. Well, I've got a surprise for you, Mr. Barnum. I don't want to be in your show, and I don't want anybody impersonating me in your show. Well, I've got a surprise for you, big fella. The Battle of Bitter Creek is part of history. And so are you. Now, anybody can talk about history, read about it, or reenact it. You are public property. Now, you can do one of two things. You can join me and capitalize on it. Pay your money and go out and sit with the customers and boo yourself. Now, if I can get her, will you drop the Battle of Bitter Creek? Big fella, if I can't get her, nobody can. Now look, Mr. Barnum, you're not going to brush me that easily. He's making trouble for Barnum. Come on! Hey, Rube! Drag your two pals out of here and get them glued together. Big fella, I don't believe you ran at Bitter Creek, and if you did, there wasn't anything human that scared you. Why don't you tell me what really happened? We'll stage the true story. As I told you, Mr. Barnum, you'll get more action on a Princess Salome. If you get her, it's a deal. All right. Brandon, 